Welcome to the Hopalong Homicide Podcast, where we delve deep into the world of true crime. I'm your host, the Sarcastic Rabbit, and today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Owl. Thank you for joining us. Um, sure. Happy to be here, I guess. Great. Let's get started. So, Mr. Owl, you're here today because you've been accused of a very heinous crime. How do you respond to those accusations? Well, first of all, let me just say that I categorically deny any involvement in this crime. I have a clean record, and I've never been involved in anything like this before. Wow, you sound pretty defensive there, Mr. Owl. I mean, I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you were seen near the crime scene on the night of the murder. Look, just because I was in the area doesn't mean I had anything to do with it. I was just out for a late night flight, like I always do. Oh, I see. And I suppose it's just a coincidence that your feathers were found at the crime scene, and the victim's blood was found on your beak? That's ridiculous. I have no idea how my feathers could have ended up there. And as for the blood on my beak, I must have just gotten into a scuffle with another animal earlier that night. Right, of course. It's always those darn scuffles with other animals that get us into trouble. And what about the eyewitnesses who saw you near the scene of the crime? They must have been mistaken. I mean, it was dark, and they probably just saw another bird that looked like me. Ah, yes. The old they saw another bird that looked like me defense. Classic. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for today. But I'd like to thank our guest, Mr. Owl, for joining us. And to our listeners, remember to stay safe out there and always keep an eye on those suspicious-looking owls.